Welcome to Loving Truth. I have some really encouraging words for you today if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, and they come from 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4. You, dear children, are from God, and you've overcome them. That's referring in the previous text to the false prophets who are filled with the spirit of Antichrist. You are from God and you've overcome them because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. The word overcome was used earlier in 1 John about the young men who overcame the evil one because they were strong and the word of God dwelt in them. In chapter 5, it's going to talk about our, our overcoming uh, sin and evil and the world because of faith. Faith is the victory. And now we're told it's the word of God and faith and the power of the one who dwells in us. I like this description. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. The devil is powerful. He was one of the most powerful angels. Lucifer, the son of the morning. He was filled up with pride, arrogance because of his beauty. And the scripture says that he fell. And God uh, cast him out of heaven and sent him to the earth. And he is the evil one who is at work today. He's the prince of the power of the air. He's the God of this world. He's, he's a spirit with power. But greater is the one who is in us than the one who is in the world. Think of his great power in creating everything out of nothing. He spoke and worlds came into being. Think about his, about his power in saving you and saving me and making us new creations in Christ Jesus. So the false prophet and the false teacher, they're from the world, verse 5. They're from the world. And they speak from the viewpoint of the world, and the world listens to them. Verse 6, we're from God. And, and the apostle is referring to himself. So think of this progression, verse 4, greater is he who is in you, the reader, than those who are in the world, or those who are in the world. Verse 5, the false prophets are connected to the world, so um, those are the enemies. And then verse 6, us, the apostles, John says, we're from God, and whoever knows God listens to us, but whoever is not from God doesn't listen to us. And that's how we recognize as we test the spirits, the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. The apostles are the ones who have given to us the New Testament. The prophets have given to us the Old Testament, and it's recorded in the Holy Scriptures. So here's the test of faith the truth of God's word. But remember that God Almighty is greater than any other power. No one can equal him. There is no rival. He is almighty. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now, the second thing I want to emphasize is that this great one is in you by the Spirit of God. He dwells in us. He made us. And the Bible says in Psalm 100 that we are to make a joyful noise to the Lord. Know that the Lord is God, that he made us, not we ourselves. We're the, we're the product of his own power. We are the sheep of his pasture. He is the creator. And then he redeemed us because of love. God demonstrates his love to us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And then he indwells us. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Don't you know that your body is the temple of God? The temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you don't belong to yourself. You're bought with a price. Jesus paid the price on the cross. And now we are the temple of God, and he lives in us. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Every believer can grab hold of that encouraging promise and know this, that as we do battle in this world against the spirit of falsehood, as we do battle in this world from those, our enemy is not flesh and blood, but it's the spirit behind those individuals who promote falsehood, 
and who have created the culture of the world that is anti-God. And notice that you can be victorious and overcome because the word of God, because of the indwelling spirit of God, and because of the faith that God gives to us to follow and believe in him. May God give us the grace today to remember that greater is he, the one who is in us, than he who controls the world. Father, we thank you for this encouragement and we, may we take it to heart. This day, may we take it to heart as we do battle with sin and temptation. This day, may we take it to heart as we pray and expect you to do powerful things. This day, we, may we remember this great gift of the Spirit of God given to us by your love and grace. In Jesus' name, amen.